Hey there! I am so stoked that you want to learn how to improve your animal art. Here are five of my top tips that are going to make a huge difference in how you're able to paint those gorgeously realistic wildlife portraits that you've been dreaming of. Let's jump in! My first tip for improving your animal art is to use a larger brush. So a lot of artists enjoy the process of detailing, but they also jump into that stage way too early, and this can have negative effects on your artwork and your process. When you jump into detailing without building a solid foundation, you not only waste precious time and energy, but your painting will end up lacking, lacking the structure that it needs. Instead, we're going to force ourselves to work with larger brushes and build a solid foundation for your painting, focusing first on shape and value instead of details. Here's a pro artist tip for you. Not able to resist the temptation of grabbing those fine detailing brushes? Don't worry, I do it too. Instead, grab two or three of your larger brushes and then actually put the rest away. Only pull out those finer brushes once you simply cannot get the job done anymore with those larger ones, and not a moment earlier. My second tip to improve your animal art is to use a mirror or reverse your image. We've all been there, hours into a piece of artwork and you're starting to lose sight of how it's truly progressing. Here's another pro artist tip for you. Grab your artwork and hold it in front of a mirror. This is going to reverse the image and it's going to give you a fresh new perspective. This is especially helpful in the sketching phase, especially when you're drawing faces. Have a mirror nearby? There's another way you can do this. Grab your smartphone and take a photo and use the editor tool to reverse the image. My third tip for improving your animal art is to pay attention to values. Value, which is the relative lightness or darkness of a color, is one of the most important parts of good artwork. It can make or break a piece. The perfect balance between the darkest shadows and the brightest highlights can cause an otherwise good piece of art to transcend itself and become a great piece of art. Here's a pro artist tip for you. Not sure if the values of your current painting are balanced? Take a quick photo of your art with your smartphone and throw a basic grayscale filter on the piece. By removing color, you are able to see the values and can make adjustments as needed. Here's another pro artist tip for dealing with values. Are you unsatisfied with the values in your current painting? You can actually totally rescue it with glazes. And keep watching the video for more information on glazes. So what you're going to do is mix yourself a dark and a light glaze, and you can use those to deepen those shadows and brighten those highlights to increase your range of values. My fourth tip for improving your animal art is to avoid using black paint. Unless, of course, you were intentionally creating a grayscale piece of art. So black pigments, they tend to actually have the tendency to be very flat and lifeless, which, if you ask me, is the opposite of what you should be aiming for with your artwork, especially if you're painting animals. In most cases, black paint can be replaced with a mixture of other dark paints, such as burnt umber, manganese violet, and Prussian blue. In fact, I put my tubes of black oil paint away for months at a time and exclusively use a mix of those three colors to create my blacks. Here's a pro artist tip for you when dealing with black or very dark paint. If you are at the end of your painting and you're still struggling to have those truly dark shadows when you are avoiding using black paint, there's a fix to this. In rare cases, when I'm painting a subject with exceptionally deep shadows, the final step that I often do is I actually mix up a glaze with black paint, and then you can layer that on top to deepen those shadows. And my fifth and final tip for improving your animal art is the power of glazing. 
If you have been part of my artistic journey for any time now, you likely will have heard me talk about glazes. In fact, we mentioned it a couple times in this video. And rightfully so, they are an essential and valued part of my artistic process, and I know that they can help you too. Glazes are thin washes of medium that have been tinted with a small amount of paint, which when applied in multiple thin layers, gives a wonderfully deep and vibrant look to your artwork. Shadows aren't deep enough for your liking? Use a glaze. Colors aren't as vibrant or saturated as you would like? Use a glaze. <laughs> are you trying to mix something that glows, but you're getting frustrated with mixing muddy colors? Guess what? Use a glaze over white paint and you're gonna get a gorgeous glow. Well, there you have it. Those were five of my best tips that are guaranteed to help you improve your animal art. Before you go, I just wanna show you something pretty cool. If you want a fast track for improving your animal art and achieving those gorgeous, realistic animal portraits that you dream of, then I would love to invite you into the Wildlife Painting Academy. It is my membership that is filled to the brim with detailed painting tutorials, paint mixing videos, instructions, and so much more. More tutorials are added each month too, so that you can always keep learning. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your artwork.